season five of Buffalo Builders, a new chapter. This year, we're gonna take you on a journey throughout the year and show you what the all-star team is doing each month. It's gonna be a great time. Today, we're in Lake Panasofsky, Florida for a special groundbreaking, and I think you're gonna to want to participate. Building Homes for Heroes is an organization that was started in 2006 with the idea to build one home for an injured veteran coming home from war. I am proud to say by the end of this year, we will have gifted 400 modifications in homes throughout 36 states across this beautiful country. This is the very first time that we have ever collaborated with a school where the students are going to build the home. Uh, I think it is absolutely an amazing idea where it starts our youth at a young age of realizing the impact that they could really have in the world. Uh, I think it just gears them up for a life of servitude and giving back to the community and makes them amazing members of their community. It feels really good to be able to give it to someone who deserves it. This family, they're very nice, very sweet, talk to them, and uh, nobody deserves it more than somebody who served for us. We're unbelievably excited. Just the overall experience of, the, of, of being able to give to a, a, an American veteran who's fought for our country, for those kids to have that sense of community and that pride, and, and to learn a trade and a skill that they'll take way beyond high school. Uh, a lot of them will tell you that it's one of the most important things they've ever done because building a home, whether they decide that path or not, one day when they get married and have kids and they're taking a drive, they can come and say, hey, look, we built that home in high school. And nobody can take that away. And we really feel like we're providing kids with a lifelong learning experience. And that's what we want. Scott saw he's the future of our academy. He actually came in uh, from the Ag Academy. Um, we, we, he's been there, uh, he's just starting out this year. He's working out well so far. He's doing a great job. I uh, love that these kids are getting to build these homes and it's for a good cause. Uh, it's just cool, it's very cool. You know, at junior year, they get them ready. They get through all the OSHA stuff. We want every student to be safe and wear the right safety equipment. And then as the, as the year progresses, they build sheds and, and, and Mike Scott and Romac and all the other companies that help us have stuff inside the lab where they can practice. And then when they come out here, now they're ready. Plus, we have all kinds of business partners that come on site that mentor them and come out and show them how to do stuff and do it right. So, yeah, they're going to get a great experience. I couldn't be prouder, to be honest with you. It's a pretty, pretty cool moment. My son-in-law was... Uh... He's actually a, a, an Army vet. Um, and that means a whole lot to me, um, you know, his dedication to service and just service people in general. Uh, we're so excited about having the opportunity to do this. This is really the first time we get built for a vet, and we're real excited about it. When I, when I was out there doing my service, I never really thought about what I would get when I go back home. And then when I did go back home after a while, it got rough and things got hard. But to see that people are out there actively helping those who help other people, and it's, it's just a, like an amazing and great feeling to be able to be a part of something as big as that. And, to know that what I did out there actually did make a difference to some people and people really did notice and take effect to it and just to come back and get help when I was really needing it for me and my family, it's really amazing. And I'd also like to say thank you to Kim. And it started with one simple email, reaching out to just have a letter of recommendation to apply for a card. Um, and we were able to receive that and that kind of really started a ripple effect to our stability and. We've been through so much, um, and if it wasn't for her, to so literally reading that email and responding back, we would not be here today. It's just a lot. And to know that he gave back and sacrificed his, his life, and um, to know that there are people and art organizations out here to help us, I am so thankful, and I will say that every day. Um, especially this home that we are giving, you know, it's just, that's just the missing piece. Um, and we're just gonna continue to flourish from here. It's definitely, Pretty interesting watching the groundbreaking, all the uh, people that are here supporting us as well. Looking forward to finishing the house and watching their faces light up and just watching the whole thing come together. Thank you to everybody for all you guys are doing for us and everything that's been going on for all the help and assistance. It's amazingly and greatly appreciated and I wish the best to everybody. This was a special event today. The kids had a wonderful time, but they're doing something fabulous for an American hero. This year, you can keep up with the journey through social media and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please support construction education. From foundation to rooftop, Romance got you covered.